It would seem that the seeds I have planted have yielded a most impressive harvest. I don't understand what's happening to me. Stop speaking in riddles. I don't have the slightest idea what you mean, and I hate being left in the dark. Either you explain to me what you're talking about, or I am leaving right now. You humans are such interesting creatures. So desperate for the things you covet. The sacrifices you're willing to make to that end. Yet fragile beings with such delicate senses. Have you really forgotten it all, Sanaya? Have you forgotten why you came to me in the first place? The sole reason you sought me out. What? No, how could I forget that? I came here to seek your wisdom about how to defeat Shere Khan and- And wisdom is what I granted you. More than wisdom, in fact. As you have returned, holding the power you sought in your hands. This is the sun's tear. So then, the words that I've been hearing in the air all day, the actions that I've taken without understanding why, those were all things that you put inside of me. I put a portion of your soul that you gave me to good use, and made my own little garden inside of you. But rejoice, young one, for the seed sown within will have now returned bearing fruit. How is that possible? I am blessed with a power, a talent, if you will, that allows me into the heart and soul of one's being. It takes the form of a hypnotic gaze that allows me to induce a trance upon any that look into my eyes. With only a small piece, much like the one you've already given me, I can merely whisper suggestions and subtle guidance. But, if I had a greater portion, I would be far less limited. That seems almost too fantastic to believe, had I not just experienced it. I am not the only one in this cave with power, Sanaya. You hated being in the dark, with the sun's tear. You'll never have to be lost in darkness ever again. I can't believe it. That tiger left his mark on you as well. So you see it, Sanaya. Our alliance was not so unlikely after all. Long ago, I too had a fateful encounter with Shere Khan. And like you, I have familiar marks to remember it by. I think I understand now why you've gone to such lengths to help me. I am truly sorry for my earlier outburst and any disrespect I may have shown towards you. I promise that I will use the power of the sun's tear and the gifts of wisdom you have given to me to- Don't misunderstand me, Sanaya. I didn't grant you the wisdom to find the sun's tear as a mere gift. Though you gained the benefit, the seeds of wisdom I sowed last night were an investment. Surely you remember the law I live by. A price must be paid in return. You mean that you want another part of my soul? Last night, you freely relinquished a part of your soul in exchange for the secrets of the sun's tear. Just the secrets. But thanks to me, you now not only possess those secrets, but wield the very weapon you were searching for. Do you think it unfair of me to request a return for such generosity? No, I guess not. 
I've gotten so much more than what I expected to find when I came here. Will you just do whatever you did before again? Or is there more that you want? No more than before. Another night in this place. Another portion of you to add to the garden I am cultivating. But fear not, Zanaya. The seeds that I plant in this beautiful garden will be entirely for your benefit. You can trust that. And trust me. I will trust your word, Ka. I'll give you a fair return for what you've done for me. Please take it with my blessing. And with my gratitude. This is exactly what I long to hear you say, my dear. If you continue down this path with me, you will find so much more than you could ever dream of. There's more of yourself to give after all. And everything you could ever desire waits for you in exchange. For now, though, look into my eyes, Sanaya. That's it, Sanaya. Just like before. Look deep into my eyes and let the colors overwhelm you. Let them wash over your senses. Let them cleanse your being of everything that holds you back. Fall into them and let them take you to a most wondrous place. Perfect, Sanaya. You are absolutely impeccable and flawless, my dear. Feel it now. The power of these colors flowing into your body. They make you feel so relaxed. So at ease. So blissful. So sleepy. Sleep. Slumber is the place where you can rest in peace. The place where you can dream of anything you desire. Drift down deeper and deeper into sleep, Sanaya. Sleep. 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 You're so close, my dear. You are on the brink of the abyss, where blissful oblivion waits you. All you have to do is let your mind fall over the edge, and submit to the feelings that have been building up inside of you all this time. Surrender yourself to those feelings. Submit to the hypnotic slumber and become mine once more. There is a time for everything, my dear. And the time for speaking is long past. 